When it comes to discussing politics, race, and black culture, comedian and activist Amanda Seals certainly is not shy about sharing her opinions. In addition to educating and entertaining her millions of social media followers, Seals also starred in HBO's Insecure and is now returning to stand-up. I sat down with her to discuss her Black Outside Again comedy tour, her newest job, and how she was using a game show to celebrate black culture. Time for an evening with Miss Amanda Seals, which I'm excited about. <laughs> So you have talked about being unapologetic and that that is a superpower for you. What gives you the confidence to go there and just say it? And so a lot of times when we are talking about things that people like to say are generalizations, what we're actually addressing is the fact that certain groups are, away, are able to get away with certain things. I think the facts. You know, confidence for me, and I talk about this in my book, Small Doses, is based on facts. Whenever you find yourself wavering or having self-doubt, like, you can go back to experience that you have had that lets you know, like, well, I've done this and I've done that, or I've researched this and I've read that. So, like, that's where your confidence should be based in, is the fact-based uh, experience. And so I feel like when I'm talking, I'm not just talking out my neck, you know, I'm, I'm talking out my facts. How is it that you deal with some of the heaviest topics, especially in black culture, with comedy? It's like, it's a joke, but it's really not. I mean, I think that's a skill that is really inherent to black folks. I feel like black folks as a culture, that is part of our existence, is finding ways to bring in humor to talk about our own pain, our own difficulties, our own struggles. And I feel like it's just in my DNA to do that. I think it's also necessary to do that because a lot of these topics are things folks may want to shy away from or not deal with. But when you bring some comedy into it, it relaxes that outward exterior a bit and says, okay, well, I'll consider it. Who are your followers? You have like two million followers on Instagram. I don't even know. For the most part, are you preaching to the choir? Are people already mm. saying, Amen, I get it, I feel that way, or are people hating you, like, you don't even know what you're talking about? I mean, there's always gonna be a smattering of the you don't even know what you're talking about, but I do know what I'm talking about. So, like, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of my followers are folks who genuinely want to see positive change, people who have value systems rooted in just folks having equality and access and freedom, and folks who want to see honesty as like a bottom line in not only their lives, but in society. Tell me about the Black Outside again tour. First of all, the title first is, is, like, <laughs> is funny. That's the idea, because it's a comedy tour. <laughs> The Black Outside Again tour is me coming back outside, but I'm black outside because I was in that house for these two years, okay? Like, people were still doing stand-up, honey, I was sitting down. Uh, I was not about to get this COVID on stage, no ma'am. But then I just started really seeing headline after headline after headline of madness, and I was like, I got stuff to talk about. The Black Outside Again tour is me doing stand-up. I'm also doing Smart, Funny, and Black, which is my variety comedy game show. And uh, we've just been going all over the nation, bringing joy back to people, and I really have had a great time. Tell us about the game show. Smart, Funny, and Black is a game show I created because I got tired of there being so many negative images of black folks on a daily basis. And I was like, we don't have anywhere to celebrate the positive. Like, I need to create a safe space. So though Smart, Funny, and Black is welcome to all, it is for black folks. And it is a comedy game show where I bring two black spurts on stage and I test their knowledge of black culture, black history, and the black experience in games that I've created. We have a live band, so we do sing-alongs throughout the show. Uh, the games are basically improv based. I write them based on our guests, so it's tailored to that. We've had Keenan and Kale on stage. We've had Gabre Sidibe. We have had Ananda versus Free. Like we've created these black pop culture moments on our stage that honestly I feel like don't get enough love, okay? <laughs> we have audience interaction throughout the show. I say that it is a cross between an HBCU homecoming, <laughs> a family reunion, and a revival, all in one. How is an interactive show different from stand-up comedy? Well, you know, stand-up comedy is interactive. Ultimately, if people ain't laughing, maybe mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lonely time, okay? <laughs> Smart, Funny, and Black is interactive in its own way because we stand up and do the electric slide in the middle of the show. You know, we are singing Happy Birthday, the Stevie Wonder version, in the middle of the show. We're singing Lift Every Voice and Sing, and everybody got to stand up and do the... 
Yeah. Double clap. Yes. yes. You know, so that's stuff that's not happening at my stand up. Jobby job. Hey, jobby job. Your girl got a job. Your girl got a job. Tell me about uh, Reach Media. You mm -hmm. now have a jobby job. I have a jobby uh, job. Tell me about the new radio show. I'm just overjoyed about launching this radio show with Reach Media, The Amanda Seals Show, very original name, very original name. Um, I really feel like it's the first time I'm getting the chance to have my own platform backed by a bigger machine where I'm actually getting to say what I want to say and creatively do what I want to do. I have a co-host, DJ Nails. Uh, so we are going to be coming at you starting in Philadelphia, but you will be able to listen to the podcast on wherever podcasts are. So we're going to we're gonna be doing something different. So what is the trajectory next for Amanda Seals? What would you like? Your lips to God's ears. What comes next? I've always said that what I want is options. For me, it's not about just one thing. It's about being able to let my multi-hyphenate flag wave in as many spaces as possible. So for me, what's next is just a greater access at being able to be creative without having to do so much convincing in order to get access to the space. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.